Goldman Sachs out today, lowering their call for a recession in the U.S. in the next 12 months, now going from 35 percent odds to 25 percent. Joining us now post at, at, here at Post 9 is Goldman Sachs chief economist and head of global investment research, Jan Hatzius. Thank you for being here today. So why, why did you make this decision now? Basically two reasons. Uh, so we, the background is that we were at 25 percent before SVB. We lifted that to 35 because of the uncertainty about how much drag from the banking stress we would see. And we've taken that back down because while we still think there is going to be an impact, we feel like we can size it a bit more and we would put it at about 40 basis points off of growth. That's the main reason. The fact that the debt ceiling deal didn't result in a major change in the fiscal policy outlook is also a reason that took away a bit of a tail risk. But the first one's really the key. That's kind of the, the bullish view in the market now, right, where the Federal Reserve is looking to pause. So far, unemployment has been very low, and we do appear to have somewhat of a soft landing. The, the bear case, though, is that they're not done raising interest rates. Where do you stand on that? Yeah, I mean, we would associate ourselves with the optimists in terms of the soft landing, but we actually do agree that more likely than not, you will get a little bit more monetary tightening. And so part and parcel of the reduction in the recession probability was also putting in another hike over the next few meetings. Most likely, we think, in July. Seems like the, the, the signaling around June is pretty strong from both Chair Powell and Vice Chair nominee Jefferson that uh, June is more likely to be a pause. But it could be. I mean, it's, it's possible that it could be June but our best guess would be July. If that happens, probably we would get some kind of signal at the meeting next week through the dot plot, the statement, the press conference. A lot of your counterparts who are uh, arguably more bearish uh, seem to zero in on liquidity and the drains that are coming from all sorts of directions. Uh, you, you have written about it, but I just wonder, is it not a concern for you or you think it's just, just typical of the cycle at this point? Some of the some of the projections from here are, would take us to post-Lehman levels, by some estimates. There are different ways of defining liquidity. I mean, you can certainly look at the drag from QT that is ongoing. We don't think it's huge. And it's also something that, of course, can be adjusted. If it were to be more substantial, then they could stop QT somewhat earlier. They haven't really nailed themselves to any particular projection there. What we tend to look at more is financial conditions and financial conditions, the drag from financial conditions is diminishing. And I think we're seeing that in the stabilization in the housing market. The number one uh, transmission mechanism for monetary policy really is residential mortgages. And, and that's, that seems to be abating somewhat. So I'd say we're in a below trend growth environment and we think we'll need to be in a below trend growth environment still. But positive growth still seems more likely.